Welcome back. Reign of Battles 47. We are at 2150. Barely skirting the top 500. Let's uh, mentor ourselves here. We've got Sawsbuck into Veluza, which is kind of incredible. See, here's the thing. We, we can just Sword Stance and immediately be super threatening. Yeah, Umbreon. Now we can... We, we two-hit KO its headbutt, and we've got Serene Grace. <laughs> Sauceback is a cheater fucking Pokemon, and I'm going to cheat with it. They gave me the space to Sword Stance, and uh, I'm going to take full advantage of that. K, one, flinch. Yep, they protect. I could have SD'd again, but I didn't need to. Now I'm just going to Horn Leech here. Alright, Umbreon gone. Which is a, a rhyme I can get used to saying. I mean, Salamence out, headbutt. Oh my gosh, this is so cheap. And they forfeit. I don't even blame them. That, that was a horrible starting matchup for them. And uh, yeah, <laughs> game one. Now speaking of bad starting match, oh, okay, actually this is Serene Grace, not Rattled. I was about to say, immediately getting this thing a speed boost would have been bad. But um, this is gonna be um, what I was just doing. I think what I do here is you turn out to Umbreon. Well, actually, I may want Toxic on this instead. Can Chansey take a hit? Yeah, we'll just take a glare there. Now we go into Umbreon. And if they paralyze again, I mean, Frost isn't bad on Dunsparce. Its whole thing is para flinching here, so. So the possibly more evil than Sawsbuck. Because Sawsbuck just has Headbutt and Serene Grace, but this thing has Headbutt, Serene Grace, and Glare. So it will try to slow you down. And if you're not Electric type, you'll be slowed down. Okay, Hippowdon comes out here. Uh, I don't see a problem just clicking Toxic. It might, it might yawn me or something. Yeah, rocks. It's fine. Let's uh, wish up here. Okay, Chansey comes out. Let's go Lando here. Yeah, if, the only thing can really do is Psychic Toss. Okay, Heal Bell. That's good to know. Okay, we get our rocks down now, though. Okay, Pout on out. Not really sure why against Lando. We can Earthquake. They have to Stone Edge just to hit us, but we have... Lefties. I'm messing with Stone Edge. We can heal Lando up later, even. We can kind of force it to slack off a few times here. And all the while, we're getting leftover chip heal. I don't know why they didn't just, like, go Dunsparce. And, uh, will you turn out now? Go for another Toxic. If they want to go Chansey. And again, Heal Bell limited usage. So we can try to play the long game here. And with Wish, we really can do that. We can get away with it. Now, Heal Bell plus Dillon Sparse is not as great. Yeah, they go for Glare. Oh wait, we have we also have Heal Bell. Good god. So actually I don't care about you. Let's uh, heal up Lando. As so they go for Eternatus. Well, this is a free Earthquake if I've ever seen one. Oh god, this this might be a long one. Might need to strap in. Although Dynamax is doing a lot, but ooh, Eternatus lives. Why did they do that though? I wonder. Seems reckless. I mean, I guess Lando is a huge problem for them. But even though we're not dead to rocks yet. Lando is still in the mix. And we get to get rid of Eternatus. I mean, they don't realize it, but that is an incredible trade for me. My team gets absolutely clowned by it. Fighting type, fighting type, normal. I mean, nothing was doing anything against it against, except Landorus and Grumpig. Um, you turn it out on the Woach. 
Man, they have a fat team. Dunspar, Sipadon, Chansey. These guys, like, all, <laughs> all stick around for a long time. I think I like Hitmonchan here, because we have Sword Stance plus Mock Punch. Yeah, let's go for that. Like, they could stun Spore 3, but um, we still have that really powerful Mock Punch afterwards. Okay, Sword Stance goes up, they Leech Seed. Annoying, they're gonna probably protect here. Could have SD'd again, no need to though. We just go for the close combat. Now Terra Poison will live. Which, there's a pretty good chance they're gonna do that here. But they're still on the back foot. They have to tear to get out of here. So Paddon dies, Dunsperce dies. Chansey dies. Everything they've shown thus far gets defeated. Reverum does not get defeated. But we have a powerful Mock Punch. And if they try to set up here, they will go down to a second Mock Punch. Actually, not guaranteed. <laughs> I almost made it. I almost had a bad time there. But now we have another fighting thing. See, this is why them just sacking Eternatus was bad. Yeah, we just close combat here. Don't even give Rev Room the chance to set up. Yeah, now, now they're really in a bad spot. Probably hit Powdown, I guess. If anything. They go Woach. Okay. Maybe I'm just gonna close combat. So they go for that. We do dodge. Yeah, Wood Champ is going to be around for a long time. <laughs> I just have to accept that. Okay, but Psyshock actually, not bad here. Yeah, let's Psyshock here. Force out the Chansey, I think. Because, I mean, we have the Wish... They have a really slow, sluggish team here, and we have the wish support from Umbreon. Which means I can stick around for a long time. Yeah, Chansey comes out, takes a lot, has a soft wall here. Let's go ahead and get up a wish. They go for T Wave. Wish out. Um, let's go ahead and get Tauros in commission. <laughs> as long as Chansey's in, I can just wish up everybody. And then I can go Grown Pick after. Or, I mean, Chansey after. Yeah, Wochan's just not an issue. Because we're gonna need, like, just protect and waste their moves here. Yeah, Ruination. Now we can hang out. We go for that. Now I don't like all of this, uh... All of this funny business. Okay, they do that. We do need to soft a couple times here. Just to stay out of range. Now we can heal up the Umbreon. Basically, the idea here is to just run this thing dry. Okay, there's another Leech Seed gone. So down to half now. We'll just protect here. No reason not to. And, uh, you can go Chansey on there. Okay, they get a nice switch there. 
But again, I can just go Umbreon here. They go for a seismic toss, that's fine. I'm just gonna go toxic just to like eventually force it out. Okay, Wo Chien out. Probably just gonna like ruination. No, they do leech seed. Okay. Let's go Grumpig to force a bit of progress. Actually, less trick here. I'm tired of this. I've seen enough. You're done, Rochian. You're done with your shit. Um, do we just go Lando now? Yeah, let's just go Lando. Get off a big blow. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I get scarfed. Well... Either way, we're chilling. Taurus, uh, we'll bulk up. Okay, Chansey comes out. Chansey goes out. Hippo comes out, we can bulk up again, and then close combat. Yeah, okay, close combat kills now. We got the Cerberus music going. This is DMC5 music, if you're wondering. Devil May Cry 5. Absolute bangers. Okay, and I think we just outlast this thing now. And uh, there's no point to any other chair. We'll just go for... The Iron Head here. <laughs> they leech seed. Very cool now die. Yeah, Wo Chien. Absolute monster. For something they can't like just click synthesis. Wow. Anyway, they go down. After I told you it'd be a long game. That's only the second game of the session. Jeez. Okay, we'll go for another now though. Creeping back up to... Or is that the first game? No, that's that the second. The first person forfeit to... The, the deer. Where are we at now? 2188. Pocket into Lunala. Lunala's a bit of an issue. Especially since we don't have any hazards. So I gotta be careful with this guy. And we are, of course, working with limited HP on Palkia. We do have Wish on Dashman, though. So there's a chance to heal up there. Now, Electrode is interesting here, because we do have the Foul Play. We're going to go Electrode here. Yeah, because I kind of expected something like Calm Mind to come out. But a Foul Play can just... Ignore that. And we do eat a Moongeister Psy Shock. Okay, they will accept it. I mean, now we have another foul play. I don't think they'll stick around to take it, but like, there's no reason to not click it here. It's always damage on something. Eternatus with Rocky Helmet, importantly. Now, do I just want to Thunder Wave this guy? Yeah. I do want to Thunder Wave Eternatus. It's too fast for how bulky it is. And it makes my life a lot easier if it's slow. Especially as long as it's threatening the Rocky Helmet. We get Lilligant, though. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But I'll take it. Nothing and go Executor here, right? 
Yeah. No sleep powder. Pedal dance comes out. I just sub spam here. You will get paralyzed. Yeah, there it is. Okay, second noise coming out now. They go for the quiver. But I mean, they're dead. In fact, do we want to click sub? They are faster now. I'm going to click sub. Oh, shoot. A luring voice. Well, it works out. And uh, I think I'd leech here. I think I like that. Okay. I will instead be encored. Good to know this thing is round. This menace is about. Now, how do I go here? It's probably going to U-turn out. But even if it U-turns... Actually, we're getting Life Orb chip here. Which is funny. Because dumb citrus spam is just that obnoxious. But eventually we do have Dashbun here. Okay, they Encore me again. I'm gonna go dash for now. <laughs> I've seen enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna play rough into this. Get some damage off. Dodge Hydro, just lucky. Actually, I'm gonna wish here. So I think this thing is like. Um, I think if we... I think, from what I'm being told, this thing has Flamethrower Dynamax Recover Toxic. Maybe T-Specs instead of Toxic. Which, if I carry Terra Steel, it can't touch me. Let's go Executor, though. See if I can heal it up. I want to see what's going on here. Yeah, Toxic. Let's be expected. But I can psycho noise stuff now. No one takes it well. Because Lunala, you, you'd want to get it. Okay, well, it's gonna, it's gonna take takes it well. Uh, let's go Colossal here. Get a burn. Very nice. Just Stone Edge. T Spike? It's annoying. I'm gonna try to rapid spin that here. They go Lunala, that's a good heads up play. Cause I mean I I mean I'm weak to this. Yeah, they go Lunala. Let's go um Chandelure here. Oh, they just go straight for the Moongeist. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm going to paint split. I think Skun Tank's coming in. And staying in on Shadow Ball would be foolish. That They have to tear to get out of it. Okay, we get health back. Yay. Yeah, I think we took a Colossal here. We Stone Edge. Gunk Shot out. That's not going to cut it. Probably going Lunal here. Yep, there it is. Don't just going to hurt. You know what I don't mind doing? I don't mind going for Will-It-Wisp here. So now they never get the Shadow Shield back. Which is kind of huge. So, does Chandelure kill this? It does. But Electro can also just kill it. I'd rather force the Terra with the Electric. Chandelure is, I think, more powerful long term. So, if it's if it used Terra Fairy, for example, to get out of this, I would rather have Chandelure around than Electrode. So, I think Electrode's best value here is destroying Lunala. And doing it really quickly. 
Okay, turn is comes out. We will Thunder Wave you. Now the question is, how do you want to approach this from here? I think Leech Seed is always safe. Obviously, we don't want Skun Tank to get in for free. But I mean, them staying in against Psychic Noises, risky. They do stay in, though. But will they do it again? No, I didn't think so. Because my thought there is Eternus is paralyzed. A lot harder to get a lot of value out of it at that point. Pride is going to give it up. Um, do, I, do I let Executor die? I think it's fine. Well, I mean, not die, but almost die. Okay, Luminion in. This has to Ice Beam. Is it worth putting anyone else? I think Executor is seen its time in the sun. We will take it. And uh, now Dosh Run can Revenge. What do they have in the back is the real question. Jugulus, that's fine. Now they have not Terrid yet, but this thing can't set up. That's what's important. Go for the Hurricane, which is a little scary. We just need to get damage. That's all we have to do here. We, we don't get that. Oh, does this thing just kill me? Oh no. I think I messed up. I should have gone Terra Steel. What was I doing? Why did I not Terra Steel? We have to Hydro Pump here. I need them to miss eventually. Oh, Confusion. Miss? Oh no, I think I've lost. Ah, jeez. At the last second, I just don't Terra Steel for no reason. Why did I do that? Uh, maybe my brain's fried. We'll go for one more here. Jugulus in the back winning. Who would have thunk it? Okay, Typhlosion out here. I don't want you doing anything. Okay, Glamora, can we... Hmm... The answer is no. Oh, this thing's toxic spike's gonna be annoying. We have to get Grafaii in on them. Who is the best candidate here? Actually, Decidueye would take the Sludge Wave quite well. So I'm gonna go for that. Okay, they go for Sludge Wave. Triple Arrows though, getting a minimum roll is not great. Um, I'm gonna roost up. Okay, Dragalgy comes out. Can't sit in front of this Sludge Wave. Let's go Probe Pass. And uh, I like... Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was incorrect of me to like that. My bad. We don't have a great switch in here. Not, nothing takes this Earthquake very well. We could just go Terra Fighting, Body Press, or Iron Defense. I don't mind that. I'm making the aggressive play here. I think I need to. To not, like, fall behind. Okay, they knock. Okay. 
And they are keeping the Glamour around, which is smart. It means they keep up the threat of T-Spikes. Probably gonna go Dragalge here. Porygon 2. It's not as expecting. I mean, by pressure skills, they have to go like Terra Fairy or something. Terra Ghost, that'll do it. Is it worth it just the T wave here? Does that do anything for my team? Not really. Let's go ahead and get these T spikes down. Oh my gosh, the Tri Tech Freeze? That's illegal. You can't just do that. Okay, I'm going to sit by. And then another one. Good lord. Okay, we live that and we get paralyzed. Oh my god. No, not like Tri Attack. Wasn't it a Tri Attack cheese? Not like this. I mean, I have to go someone here to knock this thing off at least. Just so I can approach it. I think this is just absurd. Corrigan 2 getting the value of a lifetime. Can they go Glamora here? Which surprises me. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll just take it. I would like to a sword stance there, but Typhlosion's still around. Okay, gonna go Grafia here. Get those T-spikes, eat the CC. We'd have the den now. So we threaten Okoa Deeklim here. I'm gonna U-turn out. I think they're gonna go Porygon here. They go Dragalge, actually. Is this a Titan time? I think it's a Titan's too weak to deal with the Porygon yet, though. Because let's say Satan comes out. Yeah, it's, it's doing less than half the Porygon. Let's go Zangoose for now. What's facade? They stay around and they live. That sucks. Um, I mean... <sighs> that double status with tri -Tag just destroyed my team. There's not a lot you can do when that happens. So we, we lost Encore, we lost something that could stay around for a while with the Roost. And yeah, now they have Eruption. Lame. Lame, lame. We'll forfeit. I mean, that's just a loss. Go for one more. This has been a turbulent series. Okay, we got Lorantis into this team. Um, we can't really threaten it. Do we have to go Terra Poison Umbreon like immediately? So, what do we do against Lorantis? We can at least Toxic it for now. Okay. They go get to Glamora. Who um, Grumpix is pretty good against. So we'll go for a nasty plot here. No need to tear a poison Umbreon yet, but it's still uh, pretty threatening. Um, we'll just Psychic here. Not sure if they have Haze, they do not. Okay, we'll just take Articuno then. Okay, Articuno down. We're in a good spot here. 
Grumpig is pretty destructive, and it's hard to kill. But that Brave Bird actually still does quite a bit. It's funny, because you never think of, like, in regular play, where you build teams, Articuno Brave Birding you, but in random battles, all, pretty much all the birds can Brave Bird. Even the ones that don't really use it, like Articuno, Mandibuzz, Skarmory. Um, anyway, Plusle here. You're now staring down the barrel of doom. Pain Thunderbolt likely to kill me. Is there anyone who can switch in? No, I see it's Thunderbolt. We're going to have to give up something. And I don't want to give up Grumpig yet. I mean, this is Probopass without Iron Press. Oh, wait, we have Palm Up, though. I think we go Palm Up once. Yep, Pain, <laughs> let me heal that up. And now they're gonna click Alluring Voice. We can probe a pass. And uh, now they're gonna hit us with Thunderbolt. I'd rather get Stealth Rock down. So they'll hit us with Thunderbolt twice and we'll both die. Power Gem just in case they go Glamora. I think this is <laughs> the best way I could have dealt with that. We can always bring back Pro Boss if we want. Maybe I'll get crazy. Who knows? Let's get Palafin going though. Let's activate him. And now I can start clicking Psychic again. They do get a River Rocks, and uh, Grumpick almost dead. But it looks like we're probably going to be able to pick off this Boomerang without T-Specs going down, which is really good. Okay, everyone's revealed, but we are up 2... or 5 to 3. Now going to go down to Loranta, so... Or not. They're going to go to Shifu. Fair enough. I mean, we go Palm out here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna CC here. Okay, your Shifu down. Nice. Phalanx up. I think I'm gonna double shock and then give up Cloth. Because Cloth is like not doing anything for my team. Uh oh. Cloth has begun to do something for my team, it seems. Okay. Because <laughs> they went for Iron Head for some reason. An entirely unnecessary move. I mean, close combat hit everything. Now we can get off a big stone edge, or do we knock? Do we just knock for guaranteed damage? Yeah. And now, finally, Terra Poison, Umbreon will come home to roost. And, uh, your life is over. Let's foul play. Yeah, they can't do anything here. And, uh, 2166. As game f whatever, I don't know. That's enough for now, though. If you're still around, thank you for watching. Take care.